So these are the major steps you know, in the synthesis of insulin. So the first step is the formation of the uh, preproinsulin. So the preproinsulin will be uh, produced or generated by the polyribosomes that, that is attached to the uh, membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum you know, of the insulin producing cells such as the uh, beta cells of the pancreas. So the preproinsulin will be converted to the proinsulin you know, within the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum and the proinsulin will be converted to the mature form of insulin uh, in the ER and it will be, it will be packaged through the Golgi apparatus and the, the secretory vesicles. So these are the components of the preproinsulin compound. We have here the signal sequence, the the B chain or the chain B. You also have here the the A chain and the C chain. The B chain here contains the amino terminal or the N terminal. The A chain here contains the C terminal or the carboxy terminal. The domain or the portion of the molecule that connects the A chain and the B chain is known as the C chain. So the So the insulin mRNA is translated as a single chain precursor called the preproinsulin and again the preproinsulin is formed within formed by the polyribosomes in the ER. So the signal peptide here will direct the ER rather that will it will direct the preproinsulin to go into the lumen of the ER to form the proinsulin. So when preproinsulin will go into the ER, the signal peptide here will be cleaved and it will be removed from the molecule to form the proinsulin. So another important um, process that is uh, another important process within the endoplasmic reticulum is the formation of the disulfide bridges between the B chain and the C chain. So these disulfide bridges here will connect the B chain and the C chain of the proinsulin. We also have here the formation of um, disulfide bridge that will connect you know, two portions of the A chain. So after the removal of the signal peptide or the signal sequence and after the formation of the disulfide bridges, uh, uh, proinsulin will be formed and it will now be uh, exposed you know, to another type of enzyme that will remove the C chain. So in this uh, molecule, the C chain is located you know, between the A chain and the B chain. So for the mature form of insulin to be formed, we need to remove or we need to cleave this C chain in the ER. So after the removal of the C chain in the ER, the mature form of insulin will now be formed where we have here the B chain you know, containing the N terminal or the amino terminal and the carboxy terminal. And we also have here another uh, part of the molecule which is known as the A chain containing also the N terminal and the C terminal. And they are connected you know, to each other by disulfide bridges. We have two disulfide bridges that connects the B chain and the A chain. And we have here an additional disulfide bridge located within the A chain. So again, the process of the formation from the preproinsulin uh, pre to proinsulin usually occurs in the ER. And within the ER, the proinsulin will be converted into the mature form of insulin and this will now be packaged in the Golgi apparatus for secretion in the 
uh, for secretion or release into the bloodstream. So we also have here another diagram showing a detailed representation of the formation or the biosynthesis of the insulin. So we have here our repro-insulin. So it will, it will be formed to pro-insulin after the removal of the signal peptide. And the pro-insulin will also be formed by the formation of the sulfide bridges or the disulfide bridges. And after that, the pro-insulin will be converted into the mature form of insulin after the removal of the C-peptide. So within the ribosomes, so the ribosomes uh, produces the uh, pre-pro-insulin. So this is the ribosome here. It is the one that is responsible for the formation of the uh, pre-pro-insulin. So we have here uh, the the ribosomes you now that is seen to be attached to the membrane of the uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the ribosome. This is the membrane of the uh, endoplasmic reticulum here. And this is the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. So the ribosomes will be the one to generate the prep for insulin. And uh, the generated protein will be fed into the lumen of the ER. So this is the lumen here you know, of the ER. And majority of the process of the conversion of pro-insulin from pre-pro-insulin will happen in the lumen of the ER. So this uh, structure here represents the protein, the primary structure of our pre-pro-insulin. So the first step in the formation of the preproinsulin is the translation of the mRNA and the translocation of the protein towards the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. So once inside, once inside the lumen of the ER, the Repro-insulin will undergo different processes. So it will undergo folding because it is a protein. So naturally, a protein will undergo folding. After folding, we also have the process of oxidation and the signal cleavage or the signal peptide cleavage. So going back to our signal peptide, the signal peptide is a portion or a region of the protein that will signal the protein or that, that will signal the protein that it needs to go into the ER. So the signal protein here is, is contained within the pre-proinsulin, particularly at the B chain of the pre-proinsulin. So it, it will be the one to direct the protein that it will need to go to the ER in order for it you know, to be converted into proinsulin. So in the formation of the proinsulin, this uh, signal sequence here will be cleaved in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. So uh, you can see here that there is the, already the absence of our signal peptide because it has already been uh, cleaved through a protease enzyme. For the oxidation process, so the oxidation process will refer to the formation of the disulfide bridges. So again, the disulfide bridges are the, the bond or the link between the A chain, the A chain and the B chain of our insulin. Uh, we also have the disulfide bridge that, that is contained within the A chain of our uh, insulin or pro-insulin. So once complete, so once the signal peptide has already been removed, once the oxidation has already been accomplished you know, through the formation of the resulfide bridge, and once folding has already occurred, so the, the proinsulin now will be converted in the will be converted to the mature form, which is the insulin. 
So the insulin will now be uh, it will it for it to form the mature form of insulin, it 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 needs first to be acted upon by an enzyme, and that is known as the proteases, particularly here the prohormone convertases enzyme. So since the uh, C peptide here you know, is attached that is located in the in between you know, the A chain and the B chain, so we have two sites that needs to be cleaved off in order for the C peptide to be removed from the proinsulin. So we need we need to have two uh, enzymes here. There are two enzymes that will act on the proinsulin in order for it to be converted to the uh, mature form of insulin. And that, that will act, be acted upon by the protease enzyme. So the, after the protease enzyme will, will remove or will cleave off the C peptide from our... So this is our C peptide. Now it, it connects the, the B chain and the A chain of the proinsulin and it needs to be this one here is a C peptide it needs to be cleaved off in order to form the mature form of insulin uh, another process is the uh, production of the mature insulin by way of removing the amino acid residues that, that is attached on the C terminal of the uh, raw insulin. So it, it needs first the amino acid residues in the C terminal needs to be cleaved off first in order to form the mature insulin. So after that, now after the removal of this uh, amino acid residues here and after the removal of the C peptide, the mature form of insulin will now be formed and this will be transported. Now it will be uh, secreted into a vesicle and uh, stored in the Golgi apparatus. So we have here you know, another uh, summary Another diagram now showing the formation of the insulin or the biosynthesis of insulin. So again, we have here the pre-proinsulin and it will be converted to the proinsulin now in the lumen of the ER. So the proinsulin will be converted to the mature form of insulin by way of uh, Leaving this a C peptide here, you now that uh, that is located between the A and the B chain of our insulin. So going back to our preproinsulin, we have here our uh, the different uh, domains that are located in the preproinsulin. We have here the the B chain that contains the amino terminal or the N terminal. We also have here the C chain. You now this one here, the green one here is the C chain or the C peptide that connects the B and the A chains. And we also have here the A chain. So our B chain here contains the signal peptide and the N, N terminal or the amino terminal. So to form our proinsulin, the signal peptide here needs to be cleaved off from the molecule. And this happens within the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, we also have here the formation of the disulfide bridges that will connect our B chain to our A chain and uh, also form you know, a bridge between two amino acids of the A chain. So after the formation of the disulfide bonds, in, pro, in the proinsulin and after the removal of our signal peptide here, it has been removed no, through an enzyme, 
and also after the folding of the protein so the this will now be converted to the mature form of insulin in the Golgi apparatus so within the Golgi apparatus the pro-insulin will be acted upon by uh, enzymes that will cleave off the C-peptide. And after the removal of the C-peptide from the pro-insulin and also after the removal of the amino acid residues now from the uh, C-chain, the mature form of insulin will now be formed. So, as a review for the components of the uh, insulin here, our N terminal here, our N terminal signal peptide here is the, the, the one that will target the prepro insulin to the ER. So, the, again, the signal peptide will be important you know, to signal the molecule or the compound to go into the ER. The B chain here will become the portion of the final hormone. The C peptide here will be will serve as a marker of the endogenously synthesized insulin and the A chain here will also become a portion of the final hormone or the mature insulin. So within the proinsulin here, we have the presence of disulfide bonds. So we have, uh, this is the A chain. It contains one disulfide bond here. And we also have uh, another disulfide bonds that, that connects, now there are two disulfide bonds that connects the A chain and the B chain. So the formation of our pre-proinsulin to proinsulin happens in the ER or the endoplasmic reticulum, particularly the lumen of the ER of the beta cells, now the pancreas. The C-peptide is cleaved from proinsulin in the Golgi apparatus. So to form the mature insulin, we need to cleave off this uh, green one here, which is known as the uh, C-peptide and that happens within the Golgi apparatus. So there is a specific enzyme that will cleave off the C-peptide in order to form this mature form of insulin. So when we are going to compare the half-life of these two uh, products here, insulin and C-peptide, the insulin has a shorter half-life. You now that is... Uh, about six minutes in the blood and uh, for the C peptide here it has a longer half-life compared to insulin that reaches about 30 minutes and uh, the C peptide here is a it's used as a marker of insulin synthesis and secretion but in terms of the biologic activity the C peptide has a negligible you no know, biological activity as compared to insulin, which is considered to be the major hormone that is important for the regulation of the blood uh, glucose.